Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is part two of my whole house clean with me. I'm starting right where I left off in my part one. So after this video, if you missed my part one or if you wanna start there, pause this video, go back to part one and check that out so you don't miss out on anything that I've cleaned so far. I started part one with my whole upstairs. That's already posted. Today, I'm going to clean the entire downstairs. Next Friday, I'll post a part three to my whole house cleaning series, which will be a lot more of a deep cleaning. We are anticipating guests coming the beginning of August, so I'm getting my house in tip top shape for our guests. I hope you are having a fantastic week. Leave a comment down below saying hi and letting me know how your summer and your week has been going so far. I'm starting off right where we left off in the first part one of this whole house clean with me. This is the day after. So on my day two of whole house cleaning with me, I'm starting off by folding all the blankets that I washed earlier in the day. I ended off my last video by bringing those blankets upstairs to our laundry room to prepare myself for what laundry I was going to do the next day. I always like to do this so then when I wake up, it's one of the first things that I do, just start a load of laundry and I don't even have to think about it. Next, I'm moving on to cleaning under the couch. This was desperately needed. I can't even tell you the last time I cleaned under the couch. It's been quite a while. And with a two-year-old son and a dog, there's so much that collects under here and it definitely needed a good cleaning. I actually found a dog bone while I was doing this, so my dog was super happy about that. Apparently, it had been sitting there. She lost it and she couldn't find it. You see my dog over there in the corner. She kind of just walked out of the screen, but her name is Millie. She's a lab mix. Like this video to let her know you are watching. She loves to see all of your likes and comments on our videos. I hope these videos give you lots of cleaning motivation, especially during the midst of the busy summer season where for me personally, I'd much rather be outside than cleaning the house, but cleaning the house is always something that needs to be done. So let's get it done together. Cleaning with a friend is so much more fun. So get me up on your screen and clean alongside me. Now I'm cleaning the couch. I needed to clean underneath the cushions. I needed to bring this blanket upstairs to get washed. My dog loves to snuggle up on the couch and I'd rather her lying on a blanket than actually on the couch. Her hair sheds like crazy. So I always just have her lay on that blanket and it needed to be washed. This is where my son sits if he sits on the couch. I do let him have snacks here and they always fall into the couch underneath this cushion. So I definitely needed to give this area a really good vacuuming. When was the last time you cleaned the underneath the cushions of your couch? It's, if it's been a while, take the time to do that today.
One of the best parts about summer is getting the chance to disconnect. Getting the chance to go outside and enjoy the beautiful weather, take breaks from our phone and screens, enjoy a good book, or have family adventures. Disconnect every now and again. And more often than not, try to disconnect, especially in the summer. Disconnect from everything that doesn't light a fire in your soul. Set down your phone, shut off your computer, tuck away your planner, and reconnect with everything that does light a fire in your soul. Spend time in nature to reacquaint yourself with the towering trees, the soft grass, a mirroring lake. Spend time with the ones you love without distraction. Be with them with only intention of simply being present with them. Spend time reading or painting, go for a walk or dance with your spouse in the kitchen. The things that slow down time for you and allow you to reconnect with those you love and yourself. Take this summer to do all those things, disconnect, slow down, regroup, and enjoy it to the best of your ability. Leave a comment down below letting me know what types of things you like to do in the summer that help you disconnect. For me, I really enjoy going to the pool. My grandparents have a beautiful pool. I'm sure I mentioned in previous videos, if this is not your first time tuning in here, but we do go to the pool at least once during the weekend and enjoy an entire day there. And once we are there, I put my phone in my bag and I really don't touch it much at all. I'm usually in the pool pretty much the whole time, especially having a two-year-old son. It has been so much fun. I guess I should get my phone out and take a few pictures because I haven't really even taken one picture of him in the pool. And I know I'm going to want those memories later to remember his summer being two, enjoying the pool. So I'll definitely have to take a mental note and make sure that I do that this coming weekend. We also really like to, and usually we weren't able to do it this summer, but most summers and basically for the past 10, 11 years now, we have taken a weekend trip to the Saco River in New Hampshire. We usually stay at the same campground and we do tent camp. I much prefer to camp in a camper, but we don't have one right now. So maybe in the future we'll get one, but Honestly, I'm not really a fan of camping. I have gone camping pretty much my whole life. So I'm really great at camping. I can set up a tent like it's no one's business. I know all the things that are needed for camping. And we grew up with a pop-up camper so I can set up one of those without any help for the most part, except, oh my gosh, I can't even talk. If there's like a heavy part, obviously I can't do that. I'm not very strong. I have no upper body strength whatsoever. But once we are there, we do stay the whole weekend and camp. That's not my most favorite part. I do really enjoy the day that we are on the river. We rent kayaks from the campground that we stay at and go on the river for the entire day. It takes about eight hours to get down the river. I never take my phone with me. I'm just so afraid that it's gonna get lost or it's gonna get all wet in the water. So I just leave it in my bag, normally locked away in the car. 
and I just enjoy the entire day completely disconnected. It is one of the most enjoyable days of the entire year to just be out in nature with our, we go with a pretty large group of friends and just have so much fun kayaking, being together and, and just enjoying a beautiful day. Pretty much every year we've gone, the day has been absolutely gorgeous that we've gone on the river. There was one year that it rained for a little bit, but it only lasted for like a half hour and it was like a nice relaxing rain. The day was hot, so it was like welcomed to have the rain. But for the most part, the day's been absolutely beautiful and we've created some really great memories. I'm just finishing up here in the bathroom, getting the cleaning done here on the baseboards. If you have not cleaned your baseboards in a long time, get in that bathroom and clean those. Those get so grimy so quick and I'm sure could be so easily forgotten. I did clean the other bathrooms that are upstairs in the first part of this whole house clean with me. So if you are curious about that, go check that out. And when I clean those bathrooms, I also did this toilet. If I'm going to be cleaning one, I might as well just do all three. It is my least favorite cleaning task, which I absolutely dread. So I tried to just get it done as quickly as possible. And I do have three toilets, so I just get them all done together. So I won't be doing that again today for you since I just did it yesterday. This is our entryway table. I'm just going to clean the mirror, wipe down the table. It's very easy to maintain and clean this little area of the house, but it is one of my favorites. I think it is so cute. If getting outside enjoying this beautiful summer weather is not your thing or you live someplace that is just way too hot to go outside, I know some areas get well over 100 degrees. I live in Northern America and it does not normally get that hot. Maybe we'll have 100 degrees a few times during the summer, but it's pretty rare. But I totally understand on those days, it's rather difficult to get outside and enjoy the weather when you're just like sweltering in it instead of actually being able to find it nice and relaxing. So find other ways to disconnect. There's plenty of things to do inside as well that help you disconnect and still enjoy time with family and friends, especially taking time away from scrolling our phones. Do the things that light you up from the inside out. Maybe that's writing a book, a book you haven't seen written yet, but you have a really great idea for. Make the pottery that you want sitting on your shelf. Every store and even Amazon might not have exactly what you're looking for, so maybe there's a pottery class or place that you could go to and make what you have as the perfect pottery idea for your beautiful shelves. Cook the delicious meals you want to enjoy. Fill your walls with art that you adore. You are meant to live your life beautifully and entirely yours. You are meant to fill it with all of the colors, art, and wonderful things that fill you with delight. You are meant to live in a way that lights you up from the inside out.
Cleaning my house is one of those things that kind of lights me up. Actually doing the tasks isn't what it is, but after I am done cleaning, seeing my house nice and organized and clean, just lights a fire under me, it gets me so motivated and really appreciate being able to call this house our home. I hope this house gives you lots of blessings as it has for us over the years that we have lived here. Cleaning is so relaxing for me. It's a time that I can just kind of disconnect once again, think through all those things that might be bothering me or not think at all and just do mindless tasks because we do these cleaning tasks every single day. So a lot of them I really don't have to think too hard about. So I do find it to be rather enjoyable and relaxing to just get all of these things done, especially knowing that I'm able to share it with all of you. I feel like I have friends surrounding me while I'm getting all of these cleaning tasks done. The activity that I most enjoy if I need to do something inside is painting. I absolutely love painting. All kinds of different kinds of painting too. I love painting furniture. I think that is so much fun and there are a lot of pieces in my house that I have painted myself. Pieces that I found on the side of the road or I've been given as hand-me-downs antique furniture pieces that I have been so excited and grateful I've been able to give them the opportunity to just enjoy being able to paint. I usually use a chalk paint. I find that to be the most easy way to paint furniture. And then I don't have to do any sanding or much prep at all. I just gotta make sure the furniture is cleaned down very well and then you can just paint. And it comes in so many different colors. Most of the time I do use white, but I do have a piece that is waiting for me. It is a dresser that I wanna bring down here into like this kitchen area. And I think that one I want to just sand down and see what it looks like in natural wood. And then perhaps maybe just put a clear wax on it to give like a little bit of warmth and really just appreciate the piece as it is a family heirloom, if you will. It's been in our family for a very long time. So that is on my to-do list for sure. And then I also really like painting like these canvas pictures that you can get online. Amazon has a ton of them. They are basically paint by numbers, but for adults. We absolutely love getting these and setting up a night with our friends to just hang out and paint. It get, comes with like a picture. You can pick from so many different pictures too, like different kinds of things that you like, things that might go in your house well, or just pick something for fun. It also comes with all the colors of the paints, the actual, the paints that you'll need and the paint brushes. And then just like paint by number as you were as a child, these are all numbered in each spot so you know exactly what color to paint where. It is so much fun and just like a silly different thing to do with a group of friends. We have not gotten a chance to do this in quite a while, but I can't wait till we're able to get a group together and just enjoy a night of talking and painting, having snacks together and just be in the company of some of our friends. We are in desperate need of a good friend's night. 
Leave a comment down below letting me know what kinds of things you like to do inside. I'd love to hear your ideas and maybe I'll be able to try something out. Here are two pieces that I've done myself. I just painted both of them with chalk paint. It was so easy and I think they both came out so cute. So this little bench here underneath the pictures, I did that. That was in my parents' basement. It used to be in my mom's kitchen when I grew up. And once I got it home and my grandparents had come over, they actually told me that they bought this piece and they had painted it blue. It was originally blue before I painted it white. I didn't even know that, so that was a very interesting and fun little thing to find out from my grandparents. And then I'm cleaning off our hutch. This was given to us by an acquaintance. They were just getting rid of it, and my husband knew that I was looking for a hutch, so he just came home with it, so that was really exciting. And I painted it with chalk paint, then I sanded the top of like that table and used a stain on that. I think it came out so cute. I also um, changed out the knobs and the handles. I got those super inexpensive at Home, um, Home Depot and it was such a fun project to do, super easy. I actually did that whole project while I was pregnant with my son. It was my first trimester, so I still had a little bit of energy. It was a little bit more tiring than normal, but definitely a great memory in getting this piece completed. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I hope you got some cleaning done alongside me and leave here feeling like you've made a new friend or that you were cleaning alongside a friend. I hope this video gave you lots of motivation and helped you to remember to live your life to the fullest. Your life is yours and you get to choose how you spend your time. So spend your time, especially this summer, disconnected, Enjoy the time with the people in your life, your family and your friends. Enjoy time outside, enjoy time inside. There's so many beautiful activities that we get to enjoy with our family and our friends, or if you just need some time to yourself, that's great too. I hope you enjoyed this video. You've got lots and lots of cleaning, homemaking motivation. If you are new here and you have not yet, please subscribe. I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday and would love to see you back here again. I will post another Sunday reset on Tuesday and next Friday will be part three of my whole house cleaning. This part will be a deep cleaning. 